Ladies, welcome back to my channel, and for today's video, I'm sharing a mud mesh review. Mojave Mud contacted me and asked me to, you know, do a quick, simple review on the mask, and of course, I am obsessed with any kinds of mask, um, sheet mask, mud mask, heel off masks. They did send me a little sample of it, and then they also have the instructions on how to use the mask. I did want to go over a little bit about what Mojave Mud is about, and just a little bit of information on their mud mask in general. So I'm just reading some information on their website about the mask and it just says Mojave Mud Pure Calcium Bentonite Clay is more than a cosmetic or cleansing facial mask. It is an experience. Naturally ionized and charged in the Mojave Desert by the intense heat and vibrant sun of the area, it has proven to be the perfect combination for the finest cosmetic clay in the world. Mojave Mud is the ultimate external healing, cleansing, and detoxifying experience live flawless. One, it rejuvenates, naturally cleanses pores deeply through ion charge transfer, which I obviously need. I love the whole feeling of cleansed pores. I don't know, it's it's a good feeling. I know if you guys are about masks, y'all know exactly what I mean. Two, Rich, it's produced from the purest vein of cosmetic clay in the world. Three, balanced, science tested, and nature approved. Four, ageless toxins extracted, leaving skin gently tightened with a youthful glow. Cannot complain about that. And five, experience, step into the elegance of the finest spa. Ingredients is 100% pure calcium bentonite clay delivered from Mother Earth. Mave Mud is one ingredient with the wonders of solution. Now that I kind of gave you guys some insight and information on that, I'm going to read the instructions. It just says, in a non-metallic bowl, mix Mojave Mud dry clay in a one-to-one -one ratio with pure water or raw apple cider vinegar. I wish I did have the raw apple cider vinegar because I totally would have used that instead, but I guess I'm just going to stick with the water. Apply generously to face and neck or other external area. Feel your skin start to tighten and deeply cleanse. Leave on 5 to 10 minutes for sensitive skin and 15 to 20 for normal skin. Remove mud with warm water. Slight redness is normal and lasts for 30 minutes. Use weekly for normal skin or more often for problematic skin. For external use only. I'm just going to do about one teaspoon of the mask and see how that is. And I'm going to grab the water real quick and measure that in the bowl as well. It's in the bowl and I'm just going to start mixing. So this is what it looks like after it's all pretty much... Oh! Jeez. Let's try that again. This is what it looks like after it's all pretty much mixed in. I'm just going to take a foundation brush and just start spreading it evenly on. Not gonna lie, this smells like wet desert. I have never smelt what wet desert smelt like till I went to Arizona this past summer. And it was monsoon season. It did rain and legit it smells totally different from just like a regular rainfall in like, I don't know. North Carolina where I'm from or even Arkansas like where I'm living currently so it's kind of kind of interesting and that's the first thing I felt like it smelled like it is mud from the desert so it makes sense it does feel good and I can totally feel it tightening like right away I don't know why it won't cover this area that's so weird maybe I'll just let it dry for a second It's totally like feeling super tightening on the face. I definitely start feeling that immediately. And it has a very cooling sensation, which I kind of like that too. Maybe I just needed to wait for it to dry a little bit. Now that I've evenly distributed the mud mask throughout my whole face and a little bit on my neck and chin, jawline area, I'm just going to sit and wait about 5-10 minutes. It is starting to um, harden up already and you can probably tell by the way I'm talking, I'm barely like moving my face. It's hard to make any facial expressions right now so I'm like trying to not to laugh because I can't laugh. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so I am back after... Oh my god, I'm trying not to laugh right now. 
I'm back after um, 15 minutes of it on my face. As you can tell, it is still a little damp. It hasn't fully dried on these little areas right here, but I'm going to take it off anyways. And I'm just going to zoom you guys in. You guys, it feels so tight. I have never felt a mask this tightening. And I have tried so many mud masks. Look how tightening this is. It's like pulling on some of the areas of my face. That's how like tightening it is. Isn't that insane? It doesn't hurt or anything like that. Um, it's just very, very tightening. <laughs> you can see where it is starting to crack around the areas on my face that it has fully dried. And then on my nose, you can see where it's starting to pull out little areas of like whiteheads that have formed. I think it's time to take this off. Let me go do that real quick. I'm back from washing the mud mask off my face and I used warm water and it just immediately started coming off. I didn't have any problems with it coming off. My face feels so amazing. It feels so soft. Um, that was insane. I have never tried a mask that was that tightening. I mean, I know mud masks are usually for tightening and it kind of like is supposed to pull out any impurities and all that stuff, but this one was definitely different and I'm not just saying that. It, you could feel, it was like, I don't know how to even explain it. Like, you could just feel it pulling out the impurities. You could see it on my nose. Like, it, it pulled out some whiteheads and stuff out of my nose. It started morphing my skin, like, like kind of folding it and tightening my skin. Like, y'all saw how this eye was kind of folded. It was just so weird how it did that, because I've never had that with a mud mask before. And I was just, like, pretty amazed by that. I did get a little bit of redness right around this area, but the instructions did say that you may get redness and it may last up to 30 minutes or so. So I'm not too worried about that. It just left my face feeling really nice and clean, and I really do like that. I um, definitely am going to try this with the apple cider vinegar. I'm really curious to see how that's going to be. I absolutely recommend it. If you guys definitely want to give it a try, I can link their website down below. But I guess that is everything for this video. If you have any questions about the mask, just comment down below and let me know what's up. Like this video if you found it helpful. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. I will also list my Twitter, my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my vlogging channel around this area. So definitely go check that out. And I'll have all the links down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.